Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Excel with Sumit. In this video, I am going to give introduction about Excel. Excel is a tool of Microsoft Office. It is the most powerful spreadsheet tool which is used for organizing, analyzing and visualizing data. Whenever you open a new Excel sheet, you always get a new workbook which stands for book 1 where you have by default a worksheet. A worksheet is a spreadsheet which has multiple cells. So the cell which is selected here, it is called A1. So if you see here, it has a column A and it has a row 1. So when you combine both A column and one row, it becomes A1. If you type anything in this cell, for example, if I write here Excel, then the Excel will type in this particular cell. And if you press enter, by default, Excel will move to the next cell. Again, if you want to move back to the cell A1 and if you click here, we see that we have got the address of the cell here which is called A1. If you go towards the bottom, we see that we have number of rows and it goes on till 1 million rows. And similarly, if you go towards right, the column name goes on increasing. Like here, we see that the column are ranging from W, X, Y, Z and after Z, again we start with AA and it goes till XFD column which is 16,000th column. So overall, we have more than 17 billion cells in one Excel sheet. But this is just one Excel sheet. If you want to add more Excel sheet, you just need to click plus in the bottom here. And as soon as you click this, you will get one more sheet, which will again have 16,000 columns, 1 million rows. Now again, let's go back to sheet number 1, which is called sheet 1. Now, let's go to the Excel screen, where we will try to understand different parts of the Excel screen. Starting on the top left, we see that we have name of the workbook. Whenever you open a new workbook, by default, Excel will rename this as Book 1. Now, if you move down and if you click here File, we get multiple options. For example, if you want to open a new Excel file, you can click New. If you want to open an existing Excel workbook, you can click Open. And if you want to open, for example, a blank workbook, you can click Blank. Or if you want to take a tour of Excel, you can go to Welcome Excel. Similarly, you can get different Excel template from this file options. Now, if you go down on the left side, you see that we have many more options. Here, if you click the save button, you can save your file. If you move down, you can rename your file and save it as some other name. Now, if you move further down, you can print the file, you can share the file, you can export the file. These are the options which you get in the file menu. Now, if you can go back, you see that you have different tabs here called Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas and so on. These buttons have different options and you can perform different actions by clicking this Home button. When we click a tab, for example Home or Insert, we see that we have different actions within the tab. This tab where the action lies within this tab is called Ribbon. So for example Home has this set of ribbon where you have Clipboard option, Font options, Alignment, and Numbers, Styles and so on. Similarly, for insert, you have tables option, illustrations, controls, charts, sparklines and so on. Similarly, for page layout, you have themes, page setup, scale to fit and so on. These set of actions which are clubbed within this tab are called ribbons. You can always hide this ribbon by double clicking the tab. For example here, if I double click page layout, you see that the ribbon is hidden. If you want to bring back the ribbon, you just need to double click the tab. You see that the ribbon is back here. Again, if you go to insert and if you double click insert, again the ribbon will be hidden. This helps to enlarge the screen where you have more viewable area and you can see more cells at one time. Now let's go to home tab. We see here that we have written a word Excel. Let's perform many actions on this word. For example, if you want to bold this word, you can click on this bold symbol. If you want to make it italic, you can click italic. If you want to make it underlined, you can click underline. If you want to color the cell with some other color, then you need to come here and click this drop down. You see that you have got many color options to color this cell. Now suppose if I want to color this with blue, you just need to left click this blue color and automatically Excel will color the cell with blue color. Let's write some value in front of the name Excel. So suppose we write here 1, 2, 3. So we see that in Excel, we can write numeric as well as alphabet in a cell. Whenever we write something in Excel, we see that this is also mentioned in this space. So this is called formula bar. Let's start a data entry and try to see what are the different functions in Excel. Let's click G1 cell. So suppose I went to shopping and I had to buy 
multiple list. I'll mention the item here and here I'll mention the price. So suppose I had to buy tomato, the price was 10. Then the next item is potato and then we have a price, random price. We have again bread and then I'll mention some random price and then milk and again I'll mention some random price and then the last item is curd and then again here I'll mention a random price. So these are the list of items and their price and let's start to learn excel in depth here. Suppose I want to color this cell, I'll select this both cell then I'll go and color this using some color. So suppose I select here green, now we see that the cell is colored as green. Now let's change the currency of this price, so we'll select the price all together and here in the drop down here I'll select a currency. So we see here automatically a currency is added to all the price here. Now suppose you want to calculate the sum of prices of all the items. So what you need to do is write is equal to write SUM, open the round bracket and then take the mouse towards the first item, press left click and then drag it towards the bottom until the last item and then leave it and then close the bracket and press enter. You see that the total price of all the items is mentioned here. Also, when you select all the items together by clicking left and dragging towards the bottom, on the right side bottom, you see that you have got what is the count of the item, what is the total sum and what is the average. In this way, you can get many data points instantly as soon as you click the items and Excel will show you the summary at the right side bottom. As you notice that as soon as you press enter, Excel automatically moves downwards. So this is a default setting in Excel and you can change the setting where if you want that when you click enter the Excel should move towards right or the Excel should move towards left or you don't want Excel to do anything. You can change the setting in Excel default setting. Also you saw that when I change the value from 10 to 20 Excel automatically changed the total sum to 105. So here you see that Excel calculate this dynamically. Till now I was explaining things mostly by using mouse. I will also explain here. How can you use shortcuts and how can you make your excel efficient by just using your keyboard. So you don't need to learn keyboard shortcuts in excel that is the advantage of excel. So to understand a shortcut for example here if I want to color this cell so I will explain you how to get the shortcut. So to initiate the shortcut you have to press once alt key don't keep it pressed just press it once. So you see that automatically excel will show you all the shortcuts of all the tabs here. So we know that the coloring shortcut is within the home tab. So here we need to again click H once and again you see that we have got multiple shortcuts for each actions in the home tab. Here we see that the coloring part is again H. So here we will press H again. Now you can use your mouse to select the color. For example here I have selected blue and then I will press enter. So we see here that the color of the cell has become blue. Now suppose we want to use the same shortcut again to color this cell. So the shortcut was Alt H H. So we see that the color pop up is automatically displayed here. So now if you want to color this using red color, we can go down and click the red cell and press enter. We see that the cell is colored with red. Similar way you can learn any shortcut. For example here if I want to make this italic, again I will press Alt H and then I see here that the italic is marked as 2 here. So if I press 2, it will become italic here. In this fashion, you can learn any shortcut in Excel by using Alt key. Let's go to now chart here. So to insert chart, what we can do is select the entire table here, go to insert and here you see many recommendations of different type of table, illustrations and charts. So now if you want to insert chart, you can hover around any of these charts. For example here, I want to insert a bar chart. So I'll click this drop down button and here I have again got multiple charts. So when you hover around this chart, you see that the Excel will automatically display the output of this chart. So suppose here I want to display this chart, so I'll click left click from the mouse. And I see that the bar chart for this item and price is displayed here. I'm not sure whether you noticed or not. Here we had few of the tabs, but when we inserted the bar chart, we got few additional tabs. So these are called contextual tabs, which gets enabled whenever you implement some action within Excel. For example, here you have enabled a bar chart. So you got two additional tabs in Excel, which will only help you to modify and change the bar chart. Now, if you want to change the chart type, you see here you have got an option called change chart type. So if you click here, you will again get multiple type of options. So here if you go to line, you will get a multiple options of line chart. If you want to go for pie chart, you want to go to area chart. And similarly, you have 
huge options of different charts. So let's go with the line chart and let's select this chart. So we select this chart and we press OK. So we see that the chart has been converted to a line chart. In Excel, you have more numerous options which is hidden in Excel. So to enable that, what you can do is right click the cell and here if you go towards down, you have an option called format cells. And if you click here, format cells dialog box will be opened. Here you again have multiple tabs called number, alignment, font, border, fill, protection. So here if you want to enable more options or more actions for this cell, you can click here. For example, here if you want to enable a dark border outside this cell. So you need to click this dark border and then you can click this outline and then press OK. Now if you go down, you see that a dark border is implemented around this cell. If you want to repeat the last action which you performed in Excel, you just don't need to do everything at once. You just need to press F4 key. So here the last action which we performed here was to surround this cell with a dark border. And if you want to repeat this for this cell, then you just need to press F4. And you see that the dark border has been enabled here. Now again, if you want to repeat this for this cell, again press F4. And you see that the same action has been repeated again. Always remember that the last action will be enabled. For example here, if you color this cell with red color and if you press F4 here, then this will not surround this cell with a dark border, but this will color this cell with red color because here the last action which you have done was filling this cell with red color. This can save you a huge amount of time because in Excel, sometimes we repeat the task multiple times and then you don't have to go to each actions continuously and you can just press F4 and repeat the task quickly. Now let's go ahead and add a serial number column here. So here we'll write serial and then we click enter. Here let's write 1 and then let's press 2 and press enter. Here we want to repeat the number from 1, 2 and then it should go for 3, 4, 5. In Excel you don't need to repeat the task. Here I'll tell you one more trick. If you select both cells together, you see that there is a black square button at the bottom right. So this is called fill handle. If you hold this fill handle and if you drag this till bottom, Excel will automatically populate the numbers in sequence. So fill handle will always help you to get the consistent number which were at the top till the bottom by just dragging this. And if I now drag this further down till the bottom, you see that the numbers got sequentially here. Let's delete the number. So to delete the number, you just need to select the number from 6 to 13 and then press delete button. So let's jump into some interesting formulas. So suppose here I want to count how many items are present here. To get that we'll write is equal to C O U N T A in Excel to write a formula. First, you need to write the formula name and then you have to press open round bracket. However, there is a shortcut. Rather than pressing open round bracket, you can press tab key. So tab key will automatically add the open round bracket. And now you can select the cells here. In Excel, you also don't need to close the formula by clicking the round bracket. In spite of that, you can just press enter and Excel will automatically complete this by adding the round bracket itself. So here I'll just press enter. We see that we have got the count of items which are present here. After you have worked in Excel for few days, you will realize that there are specific set of actions which you use continuously. And then to use those actions, you have to hover around between different tabs. So I'll give you a tip here where you can fast track your process and be efficient by just adding all these actions at one place at the top of your Excel. So to do that, what you need to do is go to file, click options. So Excel options will be clicked here. So here you have quick access toolbar, click this. We see that here you don't have any options here. So suppose you want to select here many actions which you use very frequently. Then I'll try to add this on the right pane. So for example here I'll add format painter. And then I'll click add. I'll click fill color and then I'll press add. Font color, press add. Font size, press add. And then in this drop down of popular commands, I'll select here insert tab. Now if I click here charts, press add. Then again I'll go back to home tab. I'll click home tab, I'll go down and I'll click here borders and then I'll click add, I'll click bold, click add and then I'll move down and then if I click more options for example uh, comma style, click add, I see that we have got many options here. Now I'll show you what is the benefit of doing this. Let's press ok here. We see here that we have got many options at the top of the Excel. Now if you click this tab twice, 
you see that the ribbons are hidden but the frequent actions are at the top of your excel so now if you want to click this and if you want to color this with some color for example this color you have got this option at the top of the excel now if you want to make this font bigger size you have this drop down and you can click 28 so you see here that the font size has increased earlier to do this what you need to do is you have to go to home tab and then you have to go into this option whereas suppose if you are working in review tab then to make the cell a particular color you have to go to home tab and then you have to select the color now if you are in different tab also if you want to color some cell in some other color then you can just click this drop down and use this color format in similar way it is not the only color option you have all set of options which you have in excel you can bring here in the quick access toolbar and which can help you and make your life efficient here i believe this video will help you to play around in excel and try to be efficient by using some of the tricks which i explained here